Hey, we're here in LA with uh, the amazing Roscoe Beck. No, thank you. And uh, we just did a tone print. Yes. So, is it fun to tweak around with parameters and stuff, or oh, yeah. into that kind of thing, typically? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, the bass, uh, the bass sounds wonderful, and if the instrument sounds good, then what you want your amp to do is just simply to reproduce yeah, that. Yeah. So that what I particularly lo I love true yeah, bypass. Yeah. I mean, I just love even seeing that <laughs> print. It, uh, it gives me a it gives me a sense of security that yeah. uh, you know going through the device it's 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 not going to uh, corrupt the we sound in any way. Um, so this is fascinating too, you know, because as I said before, I've, I've been using the TC chorus pedal since the very first yeah. pedal. Yeah. So to know now a little bit of what the actual parameters yeah. are, the delay time and, and, and such, is, is really interesting. Uh, so you've been using the uh, RH750 and, uh, mm -hmm. and the TC caps as well? Mm -hmm. Do you like the amp? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> yes, uh, I've been I've been using it uh, a lot. I have it I have it down in Austin, yeah. and um, uh, I I play upright bass also. Yeah. And um, with the uh, one twelve cab, the seven fifty, yeah. and the one twelve cab is is perfect for yeah. up for upright. Yeah. And um, you know, for the electric gigs, then I take also the uh, the two twelve. Yeah. That's great. For plenty me. of power for that. Um, plenty, yeah. plenty, and so that's that's fantastic. On a totally different matter, I mean, you mentioned Eric Johnson. You played with some amazing musicians. How did you how did you start out, and how did your career kind of move? You know, playing with Robin Ford, playing with Leonard mm -hmm. Cohen, all these different. Um, well, I suppose moving from uh, I have a, a New York father and a Texas mother, so I was born in upstate New York. But uh, mom won when I was about 14, <laughs> and we moved to Texas, and, and I think that had a, a lot to do with, with shaping my career in an odd way, because I met Eric Johnson yeah. and, uh, and Stevie Ray Vaughan uh, pretty much right at the time I moved to Austin, yeah. Texas, when I was uh, 17, yeah. and, uh, and heard Jimmy Vaughan and, yeah. and met Stevie and yeah. played with Stevie yeah. and, and, and met Eric. So we, we bonded on, on that level. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been very fortunate, you know, to, to play with the great players like, like Eric and, and Robin Ford yeah. and, and others, Greg Koch, a yeah. fantastic guitar player, Oz Noy. Yeah. Uh, I feel very fortunate. So what's the plans for the future? What are you working on now? Um, Greg, Koch, and I were yeah. just talking about we're going to uh, we're going to go to Frankfurt yeah. uh, for the Music Messe, and uh, we're going to do a little touring around Europe in uh, in March. Yeah. Uh, maybe do maybe do some more in the fall. Uh, I'm ma just uh, made a record with with Oz Noy. Yeah. Um, so those are things I'll be doing uh, this year. I, I do expect uh, to, to go out and, and tour with Leonard Cohen again. And whatever else comes yeah. up, uh, I'm open. Call me. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Thanks, Roscoe. Oh, very, <laughs> very welcome. Thank you.